Hi, my name is Chris Melnick and I'm a realtor in Halifax, Nova Scotia. Today, I'm going to talk about how property tax assessments and capped assessments work in the HRM. This can be quite confusing to understand, but when everything's laid out, it makes a lot more sense. I think the easiest way to understand these concepts is to talk about the different parts and then how they fit together. So to begin, we'll define some terms. First, assessment. The property assessment is the value that the Property Valuation Services Corporation puts on the property. This is a different entity than the municipality. They make a new assessment every year. This is sometimes very close to what the property would really sell for, but sometimes is way off. Next, capped assessment. A capped assessment is an assessment that only goes up by a maximum amount each year. It's based on, but not exactly, the Nova Scotia price index. This is an official measure of inflation. Next, property tax. Property tax is a tax you pay to own a property every year. The tax is calculated by multiplying the assessment by the property tax rate, then dividing by 100. Next, the property tax rate. This is a rate that's calculated by dividing the total amount of tax revenue needed for that period by the total value of all the assessments multiplied by 100. Now, this whole multiplying and dividing by 100 thing seems a bit convoluted, but it's just to make the tax rate easier to convey. I'll talk about this later. I'll give you an example to see how these things work together. Let's say a town has five homes with these assessed values, $200,000, $300,000, $500,000, $600,000, and $1 million. The total of these assessed values is $2.6 million. Let's say that the local government decides it needs to raise $30,000 from the property taxes from the town. Now, it wouldn't be fair to ask the same amount of property tax from the owner of the $200,000 home compared to the owner of the million dollar home. So they effectively weigh the tax based on the value of the homes. In this case, they would divide $30,000 by 2.6 million, which is 0.011538. What this means is that for every dollar of assessed value, the property tax would be just over a penny. And because 0 0.011538 is a bit ungainly, it's multiplied by 100 to be 1.1538. So that the new interpretation is the amount of property tax per $100 of assessed value. This is how the tax rate is measured in the HRM. Doing the math, this is what the town's residence tax bills would be. As you can see, everything is proportional. The person with the $600,000 home pays three times as much as the person with the $200,000 home. And the person in the million dollar home pays five times as much as the person in the $200,000 home. Now we'll say it's a new year and assessments are up 20% for every home in town because of all those Toronto buyers. And the local government, amazingly, still only needs to raise $30,000 from property taxes. Since all the assessments went up 20% and thus the total of all the assessments went up by 20%, everyone would still have the exact same tax bill as last year. In fact, the tax rate would technically go down, but it's offset by the increase in assessments. Now we're gonna throw a curveball in. We're gonna say that all the older owners, so the non-Toronto ones that just moved in, had assessments that were capped at 5% last year. So even though the previously $500,000 property is now assessed at $600,000, the capped assessment is $525,000. And that's the amount they would pay property taxes on. If you can imagine, this means we need to redo our tax calculations because our total assessments need to include the capped assessments where applicable. This adds up to 2.925 million, which means our new tax rate is $1.0256 per $100 of assessed value. And this is what the new tax bills would look like for the residents. What this means is that the newer owners who are not yet on capped assessments are paying more tax relative to the actual assessments, effectively subsidizing those older owners. 
This is also why people love to be on capped assessments. Hopefully you've got some value out of this video. Be sure to watch part two, where I talk about how you can be eligible for capped assessments, when that can happen, and the timelines of property tax billing. My contact information is in the description. Goodbye.